According to the company, the increase in these altcoin holdings will better serve the needs of FD7 investors who are looking to diversify their portfolios in the growing crypto space. That's interesting. That's similar as to why Grayscale is setting up an ADA fund. We'll get to that in a second. So this is a quote from the CEO. Aside from the fact that Bitcoin was the first to market and society has given it meaning as a store of value, I think Bitcoin is actually pretty useless. Projects such as Cardano, Polkadot, ETH are the foundations of the new internet and Web 3.0. So again, I don't necessarily agree with this guy's reasoning, but I just wanted to share his point of view. Cardano's ADA team is working towards a blockchain solution to address the needs of millions of unbanked individuals in Africa and other countries, while Polkadot continues to build out an ecosystem of moonshot projects that enable a fully decentralized platform for Web3 where users are in control. A little hyperbolic there. Quote, I've been lucky enough to spend lots of time with the brightest minds in crypto, and I'm willing to bet that each of ETH, ADA, and DOT will be more valuable than Bitcoin within the next few years. Wow, quite a statement. Just so you know, FD7 Ventures has already begun the process of converting their Bitcoin to Cardano and Polkadot and expects to complete the conversion transaction by mid to end of March. Again, this is another reason why I put ADA on our list of coins to watch in March. Check out this video if you haven't already. And before we move on, let me know what you think about this. Would you ever sell your Bitcoin to buy Cardano or buy DOT? I'm not saying don't buy Cardano. I'm not saying don't buy DOT. But this guy's point of view is, you know, it's, it's bold. It's bold. Anyway, let's move forward. They mentioned Africa, right? IOHK is currently recording the Africa special episode. It's coming very soon. Cardano ADA. Actually, this should be out. As we know, Cardano is working to bank the unbanked in Africa. This is something Bitcoiners are doing. This is something we're seeing from a lot of different crypto projects. But Cardano is specifically one of the ones who are leading this charge, making it a primary focus. That being said, they have media coming out. When? Very soon. When? At the end of the month. So all of this is culminating in the month of March. It, it's a piece of media coming out, talking about how they're helping Africa. I'm sure it's going to make Cardano, you know, in the best light possible, saying, hey, this is, you know, the, the next big thing. And I'm not denying any of that. I'm just saying, put all this stuff, you know, put all this stuff together. And in my opinion, that's why Cardano is holding its price. That's why Cardano, you know, well, uh, we'll be looking at the comments to see 